What I have here is the Yamaha BDA1040 Blu-ray player. Uh, this is the best Blu-ray player that Yamaha makes right now. It is part of their Avantage, which is kind of their premium, super-built lineup. And uh, it's impossible not to call this a direct competitor to the Oppo BDP-103, which costs about $50 more, but you're still in that $450 to $500 range. So, how does it compare? When I first picked this up, it's nowhere near as heavy as I'd hoped it'd be for an audio file or video file Blu-ray player. Uh, compared to Oppo's players, even ones half its size, um, it's just not nearly as stout and robust. On the other hand, most of your audio file bells and whistles are there. Uh, it'll play SACDs and DVD audio. It's got a 192 kilohertz, 32-bit DAC built right in. Uh, it'll play FLAC files, high-res FLAC files from a USB thumb drive or over a network. Around back, it looks pretty uneventful. You have almost everything you need, though. There's a detachable power cable, so you can replace it with something a little bit more stout. Uh, RS-232 for integration and control triggers uh, so that you can turn on and off other devices. And then interestingly, it does have analog audio outputs, but only stereo. So if you're into multi-channel SACD, you're gonna have to do that digitally. It doesn't offer the analog outputs. And then uh, we've got a network connection, um, another USB port, two more digital outputs, and then your HDMI output. What you see here is the home screen, and I do like the beautiful Yamaha Grand Piano off to the right here, but I'm a little underwhelmed by the user interface. It's kind of like the Linux of home theater. I can go in and play my DVD or Blu-ray. I can stream stuff over my network, music, or video. I can access the network services. I'll go back there in a second. And here's the setup screen. Uh, it's simple enough. We got some icons at the top and some uh, drop downs. Uh, it's just kind of old school. And this is another disappointment. If we go under network services, these are the apps we get. There's no Netflix. There's no Amazon. I am glad to see YouTube and Vudu there, but uh, Dropbox and Picasa, those are kind of throw-in apps for me. I'd like to see some more apps here. One thing that is unique is that this player offers a Bluetooth connection, so we can connect it to our mobile device and stream directly from our smartphone or tablet. As far as my initial impressions for performance, uh, on the audio side of the spectrum, it sounds good, but it's not quite as good as the Oppo player, in my opinion. I will say that this thing does a great job with up conversion. This is a DVD version of a Star Trek film, and it looks good up on a really large 1080p screen. Uh, certainly better than most of your entry-level Blu-ray players. If you're a fan of Yamaha and their Avantage line in general, I think that you'll appreciate this Blu-ray player. It's going to fit right in. But if you're a hardcore audiophile or videophile, Oppo is still the way to go.